and you're watching 8-bit days a week I'm gonna play a game that has a PS1 port actually also ported to the PS2 this is Dragon Blaze let's see shooter shoot him up skull thunder aqua fire Right, let's choose this one. So it's another shoot 'em up, and I'm sure you've noticed by now that I enjoy my shoot 'em up games, even though I'm not particularly good at them. But it's a fun way to relax, but at the same time still be challenged all right angry now abusing my bombs now anyway um, yeah this had a ps1 port I believe Again, the advantages of loading the ROM, arcade ROM, instead of the PS1 ISO is that there's no loading times and you're getting an arcade almost perfect experience. There appears to be some slowdowns. Not game breaking though. Oh man. This is uh, certainly at least I feel it's harder than, uh, say, Strikers. But you'll notice a lot of similarities between the two. Some slowdowns here and there, though. So, perfectionists or purists may not enjoy this one, but um, I still think it's uh, playable enough. Anyway, you can always go for the PS1 ISO if you're not satisfied. Although I have not tried that personally. I mean, on the classic. I have not loaded it on the classic. So I'm not sure if it even runs on the classic. And as I mentioned, this I do believe this also got released on the PS2. There was like a compilation of it. But it's essentially the same game. The arcade port. Unless I'm remembering wrong. It's been a while. I am spacing out sometimes. <laughs> Any shooter from Psycho and Cave 
I would personally recommend. You don't even have to check if it's good or bad. It's just gonna be an enjoyable experience. If it came from those uh, developers. Uh. The PlayStation didn't have any shortage of um, shoot 'em ups. Actually, although Saturn is still more regarded when it comes to shoot 'em ups, because usually the PS1 port is um, inferior, I guess. Of course, if you'd like a system that's full of shoot 'em ups like this, well, not like this, but shoot 'em ups nonetheless, look no further than the PC Engine with its um, CD attachment. Also, the Dreamcast. Those a lot, have a lot of shoot 'em ups like this. And also, Sega Mega Drive. When it comes to shooters, I wouldn't recommend the Super Nintendo though. I am bad at this game. Anyway. Alright, to spare you the agony of watching me die over and over, I think that should be it for this video. And please do let me know in the comments if there's any other games you'd like to see. You're watching 8-Bit Days a Week. Like and comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching.